Welcome back to another episode on Beho Reviews in Gaming and Entertainment. In this episode, we take a second look at a game I always wanted to play back in the day, but never got a chance with the PlayStation 2, but remade for the PlayStation 4 with Shadow of the Colossus. Before we start, I would like to thank everyone who has subscribed to my channel and hope you enjoy my content I provide. I'm trying to hit that plateau of 1,000 subs, so please like and subscribe if you like what I do. With the success of remakes these days, especially with Metroid Prime, Dead Space, and of course, Resident Evil 4, I wanted to take a look at other remakes that I have yet to try, but were truly a testament for its era. I never played the game due to the fact I jumped ship from Microsoft's Xbox by the time this game was released on a PlayStation 2, but truly loved the idea, design, and general feeling of what emotion brought to gamers at this time. Shadow of Colossus was developed by Team Ico and released by Sony Computer Entertainment in 2005 for the PlayStation 2. A remastered version was released for the PlayStation 3 in 2011 and a remake for the PlayStation 4 in 2018. Both the remastered and remade versions of the PS4 and PS3 versions were done by Bluepoint Games. The game was released to critical acclaim and was one of the best designed games of its generation and really pushed the idea of a game that was truly a piece of art as well as a complete gaming experience. This game was a perfect choice to remake as the game's overall theme and design would transfer over without issue with the power of the PS4 that would increase the sense of atmosphere and immersion that newer technology could offer. Ideally, make a game with a great foundation with a new coat of paint with life improvements to the gameplay. Comparing the PS2 original to the PS4 version isn't really fair, but you can tell that the game wasn't just a resolution and frame rate boost. The dedication from Bluepoint Games is very obvious and definitely on display. The game running on the PlayStation 5 really accentuates this point as the game runs at a silky smooth 60 frames per second along with crispy clear displays. The story revolves around the main protagonist, Wander, who travels to a forbidden temple with his trusty horse Argo in trying to retrieve a lost soul of a cursed female named Mono. Wander is instructed to kill these massive giant colossi in order to return the power to Dormin, who has promised to return Mono's soul. The game itself is simple enough as Dormin guides you throughout the land hunting and giving advice in killing the giants until you defeat them all in hopes of reviving Mono. The gameplay has you explore this vast world and seeking out and killing each colossi. Each colossi is a puzzle in itself as you try to figure out how to attack and kill each one. The game has you climb these massive giants and use your sword to strike at its weak points in order to take them all down. The controls are intuitive and you get the hang of them pretty fast. The issue here really is solving how to attack and in this case can be frustrating at times but very gratifying as you take each one down. visuals here are fantastic as the game truly takes advantage of the PS4's hardware. The original design holds strong with better animation and overall beautiful presentation. With updated textures and higher resolution, this game really shines and shows how well designed the game really was and still is. The 
The soundtrack is worth mentioning as it really makes an impact in how epic the game makes you feel from combat, storytelling, to just wandering around with its symphonic choices. Overall, playing this game for the first time really got my blood pumping even though the simplistic story and overall theme is relatively simple. The idea that you're fighting for someone really pushed me to fight to the bitter end to see it through. Blue Point Games has taken an original masterpiece and really made it better in every way and is a must play for anyone looking to relive a piece of gaming history just with a better and newer coat of paint. That's it for this look at the remade version of Shadow of Colossus. Please like and subscribe if you like my videos. Beho out and great. Take us out of here and I will see you all next upload. <laughs>